The U.S. Air Force F-15EX has blasted onto the scene in recent years as a highly advanced fourth-generation plus type of aircraft intended to pick up key missions less suitable for a stealthy fifth-gen F-35. While essentially a fourth-generation airframe, the U.S. Air Force and Boeing have for many years been building upon extensive upgrades to the 1980s-era F-15, which hosts upgrades that massively improve the performance, technological capacity, and combatability of the airplane. At the same time, some have questioned the utility and strategic rationale behind building the F-15EX given that part of the intent was budget-driven, meaning it represented an effort to decrease modernization expenses in part, generated by Pentagon plans for a large fifth-generation and sixth-generation fleet. The Air Force is now acquiring a number of F-15EX aircraft, however, the actual number or planned fleet size may remain somewhat in flux. The technological enhancements built into the F-15EX arguably make it much more effective than any existing fourth-generation aircraft as it is engineered with a new suite of electronic warfare, ADSET active electronically scanned array, radar, high-speed computer processing, and even an ability to fire new generation weapons. As for its many attributes, the F-15EX may reportedly fire hypersonic weapons, hit speeds of match 2.5, and operate with one of the fastest computer processors ever to exist in combat aircraft. Therefore, the actual extent to which the F-15EX could actually rival or challenge the Chinese J-20 or Russian Su-57 may not be fully known. It does appear possible the new 4th Gen Plus aircraft might be well positioned to destroy Russian and Chinese 4th generation fighters, of which there are many. The thinking as explained by developers is to engineer a highly capable aircraft able to pick up key high-risk missions that may not necessarily require a fifth or sixth generation plane. Some have questioned the wisdom of building a non-stealthy F-15EX, given that major adversaries are likely to soon operate with threatening levels of fifth generation stealth aircraft. It may not be clear just how many J-20s the Chinese will have in the future and Russia is now building a relatively small number of Su-57s thus far. The fifth-generation air threat posed by both Russia and China is quite significant as something that arguably may require the U.S. and its allies to mass larger formations of networking F-35s and new sixth-generation aircraft. In recent years, Boeing developers have said that the F-15X Advanced Display Corps processor performs 87 billion computing functions per second. This and other F-15EX attributes, however, may not compensate for a clear lack of stealth. The lack of stealth suggests that the F-15EX could indeed be quite vulnerable to now highly advanced Russian and Chinese air defenses. Russian S-400 and S-500 air defense systems are claimed by the Russian press to operate with an ability to find and destroy stealth aircraft. This may or may not actually be true as establishing an engagement track on fifth-generation stealth fighters is much harder than simply detecting that something is in the area. However, Russian air defenses and possibly Chinese HD-9s are believed to operate on a wider range of frequencies, detect aircraft at higher altitudes, and use digital networking and processing to connect otherwise disparate threat detection nodes to one another. Staffstead, Dave Smith and senior airman John Fusieski from the 58th Operational Support Squadron 58th Fighter Wing perform last-minute checks and arm practice bombs on an F-15E Eagle aircraft from the 461st Fighter Squadron. The F-15E EX is being tested in a novel way, taking advantage of its similarity to the aircraft it replaces. The test aircraft are being used for simultaneous developmental and operational testing and have already deployed to several exercises to confirm the performance of new systems and capabilities. The new F-15X's ability to carry and launch more air-to-air -air missiles than the F-15C was proved in a pair of late November tests at Eglin Air Force Base. The two F-15EX aircraft of the 96th Test Wing each fired a missile in the tests. One launched an AIM-128 MR-8AM radar-guided missile from Station 1 and the other launched an AIM-9 XT-seeking missile from Station 9. The outboard missile stations are new to the F-15EX and give the fighter the ability to carry and launch 12 air-to-air -air missiles at once. An interesting recent essay in 1945 cites that the F-15 recently broke records in terms of quantity of tonnage it is able to carry into war, something which could arguably introduce a weapon-struck kind of attack aircraft to support forward-operating fifth-generation aircraft. 
If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.